Hello all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it will give you a detailed note on how to manage salary structures with Odoo 15. The payroll module is designed for employee salary management and it is highly integrated with the employee module of Odoo to let the user have full access to all of the employee profile. With the payroll module of Odoo, you can manage multiple salary structures for your employees based on their pay grades and other related factors. All employees with their life status can be seen here. The initial step to creating a salary structure is to create a new structure type. So creating salary structure types can help you to manage and overview all of the salary structures effortlessly. To create a new structure type, you can click on the structure types under the configuration tab. And the existing structure type will be listed on this page. Here we have two types, one is employee and the worker. Here the create button will let you create a new structure type which can be later included in the salary structure. So we can configure an existing one. Here we can enter the name of the structure type. Then we can choose the country and the wage type from the respective field. The wage type can be chosen as monthly fixed wage and hourly wage. Then you can choose the payment schedule from the default schedule pay field and working time from the default working hours field. Then you can choose the regular pay structure and the default work entry types from the respective field. So after providing all the details, you can click on the save icon. And with the payroll module of Odo, you can create and manage multiple salary structures effortlessly and it can be built and managed from the configuration tab of the payroll module. So the configuration tab will have a salary section and the page on the salary structure will opens up here. So all of the salary structures are listed here and it, we can create a new one by clicking on this create icon. So the salary structures can be configured from this page. Here we can give a name for the structure for easy identification and management. Then you can choose a structure type from the type field to categorize the new salary structure. And if you have created a new salary structure type, it will be displayed here. Then you can select the report from the report field. As it is a salary structure, so you can give payslip as a report here. Then the schedule pay field will let you change the schedule payment time of the salary. So the default pay is monthly and you can change it based on the salary structure or the job. And Odoo has given uh, you the option to include the salary in the journal from the salary journal field. And it will allow you to maintain and manage the salary records effortlessly according to your company policies and strategies. And here in this lower section of this configuration page, you can find the salary rules. So the rules relating to the salary will be detailed on the salary rules tab. So you can instantly create and manage salary rules using the payroll module of Odo, which will be explained later in this video. Then you can click on any one of the rules from the list to manage and overview them. And here the unpaid work entry type tab of the configuration page will let you include the unpaid work entry types. So you can apply the unpaid entry type based on your salary management structure and after including the work entry type, you can add a description to the salary structure by going to the other input button detailing the various info relating to the salary structure. With the Odo 15 payroll module, you can include rules to the salary structure for easy employee salary management. Can be accessed from the configuration tab of the payroll module. So all of the existing salary rules will be listed on this page. And here the filter tab will let you filter out the salary rules for easy accessibility. So we can click on the create for create icon for creating a new salary rule. To begin the configuration, we can type in a new name for the salary rule and choose the category to specify its usage.
So the categories are fundamental salary division that add up to the total salary. Applying the category will inform order of the salary rules and how to manage them. So you can type in a unique code for the salary rule and select the salary structure from the salary structure field. And if you have chosen the salary structure, then Odo will integrate the salary rule in the salary structure to give you more flexibility in the salary management. And here the active button can be used to activate the salary rule. Then you can choose uh, whether to include the salary rules on payment slip or not by clicking on the appears on pay slip checkbox. Then here we can provide the sequence number. In the general tab of this page, you can configure the conditions and computation details of the new salary rule. So here we can include the conditions from the drop down menu. There are three options under the field. Uh, they are always true range and Python expression. So the configuration page will change according to the condition you have opted for. So here this is a condition uh, always true. And if you have chosen the range, the configuration will be changed. So you can configure the conditions uh, you have chosen. And here we can configure the minimum and maximum range as a condition. And if you have chosen the Python expression, uh, you will be uh, provided with the access to the Python expression. Then you can edit or remove or sorry. Then you can edit or overview the Python code under the Python condition field to configure the conditions. In the computation section of this page, you can select the amount type to design the salary rules nature further. Then you can choose the uh, amount type field to include it in the salary rule. So the option include the fixed amount percentage and the Python code. So if you have selected the percentage option, the configuration option will change to configure the percentage. And in this percentage section, you will have to option uh, you will have the option to configure the quantity and the percentage from the field name the same. Then if you have opted for a fixed amount, the configuration will change. So you can configure the quantity and the fixed amount for easy management of the fixed amount and configure the section based on your business policies. Similar to the condition section, you can edit the Python code to suit your business requirement. After the configuration, you can add a partner from the partner field under the company contribution section. So you can pause the configuration, click on the save button to save the rule and it will be available to apply to the payroll. So the salary structures and rules can be configured and sequential according to the country's law with which your company is working or the company's policies on employee salary or payroll management. So managing and overviewing your salary structures with the payroll module is effortless. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.